Matt Noss here, and today I want to talk with you about prescription drugs and DUIs. And the reason I want to talk with you about that is we've been seeing a lot more cases in the last few months of people who take medication and end up having an accident or get pulled over, and the officer starts asking them about what it is they're taking for their health. Imagine if, like a lot of people, you took medication as part of your morning routine. You've been taking this medication for years, you're stable on it, you know how it's gonna affect you. And then when you're on your way to work, somebody crashes into your car. The police come and they start asking you what you've had to drink or what medications you've taken that morning. These days, police officers are on the lookout for drug-based DUIs. And if they suspect someone has taken medication, oftentimes they'll call a different officer called a drug recognition expert. Now, this officer goes through 72 hours of training, and at the end of that, they say that they can identify what type of drug a person is under the influence of just based on a 12-part test. You might be interested to know that one of the most important questions on that test is, what did you take? Very often, the officer's opinion of what the person is under the influence of matches the answer to what did you take. So it's probably less about the uh, science of the test and more about that simple question. You should never take a DRE exam. This is not about bad cops. This is about cops who are doing their job the way they've been trained to do it. The problem is the government has given them a tool that is garbage. Drug recognition exams are very subjective and they very often lead to misleading and inaccurate results. Most of the folks that I talk to in this position are just in shock. You know, they're taking medication because it helps. They're taking it because their doctor told them to, and they're taking it the way that a doctor told them to take it. And they're just in shock that now a police officer is accusing them of committing a crime. So if you or a loved one ever finds yourself in this situation, you need an attorney who understands the drug recognition program and how to expose its weaknesses. We spent years studying the officer's training and the problematic studies that it relies on. So if you find yourself facing a DUI for a prescription drug, give us a call. We can help you resolve your DUI case in a way that gets it dismissed or reduced so it doesn't follow you around for years.